know. <laughs> Man, what a finish that was. Yeah, that was just absolutely <laughs> bizarre. Here we go. The Pistons control the tap. And this is Billups. Played collegiately out of Colorado. And right away, they set that high pick and roll. Wallace comes out on top. Moving the ball around now. The Pistons not known for their offense. They bring that shot clock down. It'll be Wallace pump fake, and his first shot is rejected. Wow, you see Drew Gooden coming from the weak side. And that's that energy you're talking about. Nice up fake by Ben Wallace. Again, a nice pump fake, but Drew Gooden out of nowhere. And he's gonna it looked like Juracek was going to play Hamilton very aggressive. This time with a screen, and Juracek over to block the ball out of bounds. So that is blocked by Gooden and Juracek. The Pistons won two of the three. But they got beat up pretty badly on Christmas Day. McGrady hit him for 46. But Robinson at the top of the circle misses the three, and it's all blue underneath. I'll tell you what, the Orlando Magic have come out the first several possessions here and played some remarkable defense. McGrady blows into Wallace, and the offensive foul is called. Phillips. Defended by Vaughn as Hamilton jumps out, brings Juracek, flashes to the basket, and the foul. Wow. And this one goes against Hamilton on the drive. The court got over there a little late. The scene early, the Pistons' tempo and style of play. Down and dirty, a lot of banging, and a low-scoring game. And Juracek nails one for Orlando to tie it at two. The team is their defense. They held opponents to fewer than 90 points a game. Toughest in the NBA. Solid all-around player. Armstrong off the bench, nails the three. That's unusual you say that during an Orlando match game. <laughs> Giving up a ton of points this year. Curry on a cut to the rack. And one. We're going to have to discuss this one as a charge and one as a block. What you thought about that relative to what we've seen so far? Now right now, both these teams are still trying to feel each other out. And McGrady with the two. And you know what happens, Brent, so often. Oh, oh, doing a good job on Wallace down low. Another effort for Orlando. Hamilton fires down. Wallace couldn't put it away. Had a chance, Armstrong, pull up, misfiring, good flashes. Now there's DeClerc's hustle. No, and it's Wallace. But if they settle down, you are going to see some high school. Curry hounding McGrady, sees his baseline. Beautiful wraparound, powerful move by the NBA scoring leader. Doubles as soon as he hit the Orlando Magic. So he's got now is 3 of 14 from the floor as Robinson hits from the perimeter and it's high at now at 11. Inside it goes McGrady and t -Mac. Former basketball player in college might be going up for one of the end zone. Man, what body control. I leave Pat Garrity because he's going to knock him down from three-point range. But if you're the Magic, you want him out there on the floor just so it creates more room for Tracy McGrady. A flash turnaround, and now it's eight straight. He's really struggling to even get a good look at the bucket. Been waiting, couldn't get McGrady free. So it'll be Armstrong putting it into t Mac's hands. Curry knocks this one away. Hamilton now in a breakout. That could get him going. Bounce pass at the other end to Armstrong. Here's Gooden powering in, and the rookie. Really, really hard on these guys and showed them that we're not intimidated by their, this, this team. He said this is a team that is solely predicated on defense right now. McGrady on fire right now. They cannot put him out after starting the game 0 for 2. That's a tough call on Garrity here at the other end. Here's McGrady, a nice little jab step. He keeps you off balance, and he's able to rise up into that jumper. And you see, there's no way you can get to that shot. It's almost tough. Man, good and very athletic, very active. Armstrong misses the three. Wallace can't get the rebound because Gooden gets over there. And now it is Whitney, spot up three. And I was with Whitney in San Antonio. And he can also see on that possession how the Orlando Magic are going to 
crashed the glass. Well, they want Williamson to go. Hamilton gave it right back to him. And the defense was ready. This is a very positive start yes. for Orlando. A lot of good things are developing here in the early going. It looks like they have six or seven blue jerseys on the floor as much as these guys are scrambling. Yep, from the left side. He kicks one. The leading rebounder in the league on their team. Kemp steps out high between the circles. Spin move inside and then dishes. Hunter seeing his first action. Comes up with the field goal. Another Orlando rebound. If you look at the Magic right now, they're playing a lot looser than the Pistons. The Pistons look like they're playing with a lot of pressure. They're at home. They're having a difficult time scoring the basketball. And Orlando, you see Kip, that's his second jump along the baseline. They look like they're loose. Yeah, 20. I know I watch it a lot. Those guys have got great updates. Tell you what's going on. Give you the schedule for the rest of the week. Let's get series seven games. There's Williamson blocked from behind, and Oka is right there. See, even when Williamson has a mismatch of champion. Armstrong seeing a lot of playing time. Doc like what he's seeing, and the two is good now for the left baseline for Whitney. That's Whitney with a quick jumper again along the baseline. Now, Mag Orlando Magic having an easier time scoring the basketball. You see the Pistons kind of struggling to get the ball in the box. And Terry percent against this Piston defense, the Magic shooting. Burke handling the ball, muscling, staying with it, left-handed. The Orlando Magic are scoring at every position right now. You have Pat Burke backing down the top of Kemp for the rebound. Corliss Williamson on the stool turn around. Nice first two. He hit his next five. Five of seven. And he's handling the ball right now, coming again. Got the bounce. Shooter's touch. Well, Barry and Cliff Robinson. The Lakers, the only road team to be favored. Atkins up firing. One more pressure when you're playing at home. Oh, McGrady. Oh! Pass Robinson. And then slash to the rack. Are you kidding me? LeBron says, wait a minute. How many guys are like this? Earth, one more look. The, the, I don't know if there are words to describe this. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it a hundred times. An all-star. I think all of us believe that deeply. Uh, there's a tremendous upside. The, the guy just knows how to play the game. Speaking of playing the game, Bruce had a great game today as the uh, shot clock goes off. And it's tucked down now by Hamilton. And he's getting ready for another highlight dunk. Wallace came over and Tracy McGrady adjusted his shot. Pick and roll, the clerk is open. McGrady keeps it on the drive high, missing Williamson out now. And Hamilton trying to run against Bond. Here he comes. Not there, battle for the rebound, knocked away. Hamilton's got it back to pull up short. Into the clerk's hands. And it'll be T-Mac with Robinson hitting good and flashing the other side. Ran the floor beautifully to help McGrady out. There's the athletic ability. And he knocked it over to Gurichek. The Orlando Magic, they are right now, they're tenacious on the glass. Great switch by McGrady on the dribble and the uh, charging foul call. The crowd in there will be an energizing force against the Lakers, but you've got to deal with Shaq and Kobe. You better get ready. I hear you. Hamilton. So now, Detroit here closing back in. Whittling away at the lead with the two-minute mark. That's, that's the type of defense you've seen all year from the Orlando Magic. Easy penetration, nice dish off, easy bucket. And Gooden finishing powerfully <laughs> at the other end. Well, oh, he just continues to work in that block area. First off, he gets a tremendous pass here and finishes it the way a big man should. And watch him. A smart, savvy rookie. Thunderous dunks and Drew Gooden. Dunking in the vicinity of Ben Wallace. He's, got, he's not intimidated at all. Robinson at the corner. Chip Robinson, uh, definitely a guy who can give you some big, big buckets. He's been there plenty of times. Robinson shows good and fresh respect that time. Bond flashes on the inside to Kemp. Not the type of guy who's going to step out and give you putting the ball on the floor, step back jumpers. Good. 
Nice put back. Gooden's 12th rebound of the game and a put back. He has been the X Factor and no one enjoys it more than T Mac, knowing he can use a little help here in the playoffs. And you see that type of energy? He beats everybody to his own offensive rebound. And Rip Hamilton makes a three ball for the piston. Doc is going to spread the floor now after that timeout. He wants to bring it down as many seconds as possible before they attack. Going to be Jacques Vaughn on Hamilton. Jacques, the pull up, Jay. Yes. Now that's a shot he did not have when he came into the end. Getting that little bit of a burst. And Tracy McGrady played only 15 minutes, and he starts the second half with the field goal. And now it is seven. Parker at San Antonio. Such an important part of a basketball team is your point guard. And when they go back, it is uphill all the way. And Robinson goes and hits a three ball for the left corner. Ben Wallace has missed all three of his shots. Chauncey Billups is 0 for 8, searching for his first field goal. Hamilton picks it up. And he'll fire the three ball on the money. Shooter, this guy can put the ball on the floor as well. Give him a wide open look, he's gonna knock it down. They need him to score big time here. They double McGrady, so good inside, and it'll roll in. Ben Wallace not happy about that. Here it is, watch good, and he uses that left arm, left elbow moves Ben Wallace on his hand at that time, instead of releasing it and letting it go. Wait for good check outside. The clerk's got Hamilton, size mismatch, left-handed run through the lane. So now he's impressing even more, coming across the lane using that left, that little soft jump hook, running hook. Inside. The Orlando Magic are showing. Tracy McGrady going and beating everybody to his offensive rebound. Robinson again. Trying to cut this lead even further. Phillips on the attack. And one. A huge basket for Chauncey Phillips. McGrady. Time now for the stars. Can't find daylight, so it's shot gone on the money. That's a beautiful pass. T-Mac comes around the corner, but they can't get it to him. So they go in low now to good. Jacques Vaughn to Hunter for a running slam. Beautiful pass by Jacques. Rushing here, they have plenty of time on the shot clock. Jacques Vaughn comes through with a brilliant pass. Back now to Robinson, he'll put it down on Gooden. Six on the shot. Phillips back, Robinson's got to go. Got it! Three ball! Shoot the ball with lots of confidence. Curry battling away at McGrady. Here's Gooden, the rookie, off Wallace. Jump hook, good. Strong power move. Wallace again complaining. McGrady checks the open floor. Magic up four. Gets it back. He'll go three ball. Yes. Just unbelievable. The guy corralled. He ends up dropping the bucket on you. Wallace attacks. McGrady, the transition three is good, and Tracy McGrady, 26. Down the 10 times. Atkins on the floor for Detroit. Hamilton trying to get in behind. Whitney does. And from the left baseline. Security on the high screen. Knocked away. Turn it over. Here comes Atkins. Transition three against the clock. Score the lead official taking a look at it. You can see Atkins eyeing the clock. Here he comes, up and firing. It's good, folks. Ball was in the air, no doubt about it. Count it. Seven cents as Barry drops it in now to Williamson. McGrady quickly to double team. Atkins again. And right now, Turkey Atkins has come through big time. Back to back threes. You also need a superstar. He's got the ball right now. McGrady goes to work. Flashes past Barry and one. Put him on the free throw line. Just when the opponent has closed. 
look at Whitney send that screen on Corliss Williamson. Brady up firing again, and the three is good. Gives him 32. Bill Robinson, that one here to be down. That was a long three. Looks up to Brady. Brady crushes, goes left hand, gets the roll. Switches hands on the drive. And it's 86 75. Tracy McGrady boosting the Orlando lead out a little higher. And he switched out on the big man. He's able to shake him up on his way to the bucket. Second field goal of the game. 2 of 12. McGrady 12 in a row. Up firing. That's 38. Didn't watch it over on the right side. Didn't get it now. McGrady. Armstrong firing, knocks it down from the perimeter. It's nine. Phillips tries to break it down on the penetration. Robinson is covered by a smaller man. He's attacking down for cross court. Hamilton. It's a seven point game at 420. Here's Gooden working on Wallace on the inside. Wallace defending him that time. Physical play on basketball. Williams and Williams in, and it's a foul. By Coach Williamson to run the floor. And an excellent defensive stand by Ben Wallace in the paint. In a one on one situation with Drew Good. Phillips trying to take McGrady. McGrady switches in as wow. Phillips is in pain and by the Pistons. Just watch this, and you see the intensity and the effort by both players. Off of him and McGrady now with 40 points, 14 this quarter. The third 40 point score of the weekend. Phillips up firing at the other end. Wow. Looks like he hurt his hand. You can see the grimace there. It's 92 87. Lead is five. This back and forth place. Unbelievable. Seven with Armstrong. Teams are trade 94 91. The hockey game, I understand, has just started. Obviously, we will be picking up the Brady short on that shot off the iron. Phillips runs it down. Now it's McGrady, and Robinson is taking him all the way down the stretch. They jump him with Hamilton, but it's going to be Cliff Robinson's man. McGrady blows to the baseline, and Robinson stays with him, and the foul is going to be called. Cliff did not agree with that either way. 41 points. Difficult for the Pistons to get another good shot off. It's a three-point game in the 27 seconds, 96-93. Phillips is the man. Can't get the roll, and it goes over to Orlando with 16 seconds to go. Nice concept of it. But uh, McGrady put this team on his shoulders after it became a one point lead earlier. Scored 10 consecutive points at three and a half minutes. That's the difference. Phillips is picked up by Gurichek. He will attack and foul on the free throw line. I'm just going to say you have to go quickly here. Even five, so keep the clock moving, even if you gave the field goal, but maybe I'm wrong. No, you're exactly right. There's no question about it. You don't want to be fouling in this situation. It's much the same way that Drew Good fouled on the opposite. Phillips just could never get his floor game going. Has helped keep them alive at the free throw line. The pushing foul is called. 9.5 seconds. Orlando leading 98. Tend to overlook him when you think about the Suns right now. And Stefan Marbury and Sean Marion in that game. I have 43 points. And, and 43 or, or maybe 44, 43 tough points. Orlando gets back the miss, and they'll just run out the remaining seconds. And the Orlando Magic has taken the home court advantage away from the number one seed in the East.